Greetings, fellow Toastmasters, newbies and almost newbies. <laughs> I'm really happy to be here again today. And we're going to take you back a little ways, back to my childhood. Your environment does matter. And you're going to see based on an experience that happened when I was in grade school. So go back with me, if you would, to fourth grade. My best friend Bob and I wanted to be announcers with a radio station. So in fourth grade, we decided we would create a radio station. So we grabbed a card table, put it out on the driveway of our house, grabbed our old record player for those vinyl records, put it on the card table, and we grabbed a walkie-talkie. And of course, a rubber band to hold the on button. So we set that walkie-talkie out there, and my best friend Bob and I were broadcasting to the entire neighborhood. Well, down the street. Well, at least across the street. <laughs> across the street, Marty and Terry are sitting on their front porch. Marty pulls out his walkie-talkie to listen to our station, to hear what's going on with the weather and across the neighborhood, and of course, to listen to a little bit of music from the monkeys. So he goes to listen, and he can't hear anything from across the street on the porch. So he turns to Terry, his younger brother of about three years, and says, hey, let's go down by the street there by the sewer. So they go down, and they get by the street, and they go to listen, and still nothing. So Marty says, you know what, I bet it's the battery. So he takes the walkie-talkie, takes the back off, and starts, oh, shoot! The back of the walkie-talkie went down the sewer. Terry, again, being younger and smaller, says, I'll see if I can see it. So Terry gets down in the street, puts his head against the concrete, and slides it into the concrete slab sewer and gets his head in there. It's a little tight, but he's able to get it in. Oh, good news! I can see it! I think we're going to be able to get it. Okay. And he, he can't get his head out of the sewer. It's stuck, and he starts to panic. Marty! 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 I can't get my head out! Marty, trying to come to relief, jumps around, gets down on his hands and knees, tries to adjust Terry's head while he's panicking. He can't get his head out. He runs into the house, grabs the mother who was babysitting them. She comes out and she tries to help and get his head out. She can't. So she immediately calls for help. Not on a cell phone back those in those days. And incidentally, for later, I do have pictures. <laughs> immediately, racing down the street are two fire trucks and two police cars. The fireman jumps out of the fire truck, runs over next to Terry, gets down on his hands and knees, puts his hand on his back of Terry and says, son, we're going to get you out. Terry's still in a panicked mode, thinking he's going to live there for the rest of his life. It's starting to get calm a little bit. The fireman takes his hands, reaches in there appropriately, adjusts his head just right, and his head won't come out. So he thinks, what are we going to do now? Of course, he didn't say that to Terry. So what he did is he went back to the fire truck, and they got some grease. And they thought, let's try to grease the sides of his head. So they put some grease on the sides of his head. And they try to pull. And Terry's still in a panicked mode. And they can't get his head out. Now the fireman is starting to potentially panic himself, silently, of course. He goes back to the truck again. This time, they bring a jack. They bring the jack out to the street. They slide it in on the street in between the slab, and they begin to crank it up. And ah, ah, relief for Terry. Wow, what an experience of panic. The next time you get into a problem. Be very aware of the environment that you're in, like being around a sewer. 
And be very careful about the environment you create when you try to solve the problem. Don't create a worse problem than the first problem. One other thing I think we can take away as well. The next time when you're facing a problem and you stick your neck out trying to solve it and you get stuck, don't wait too long to look for others that have more experience, more knowledge, more confidence to come alongside you and help you get unstuck. Be very aware of your environment. Thank you.